Now we are here spying on a super mutant base and as you can see they don't really care about us and that's basically the main good thing about the Cosbo and the Bo is that they are super super silent. Is it not boring now? Okay, well you can die first then. Okay, that... Th he just absolutely pulled the new no you card on me and I'm gonna be okay with that to be fair, I totally deserve that. <laughs> Hey everyone and welcome back to a weapon review and comparison video. This time we are tackling the entire bow and the crossbow class. And the reason why I can do that is not only because there is only three weapons in that class, but then now I actually managed to get my hands on a bloodied variant from all three of them, which means of course the bow, the compound bow and the crossbow. Now the compound bow and the bow are very very similar as you will see soon enough. The compound bow uh, is the one that I'll be comparing mainly against the crossbow because that's the superior one of the two. Um, and basically those are the only two ones that actually function differently. But they're still boosted by the same perks, so you know they fall in the same weapon category. And we are here to see which one of them is worth using the most. So uh, let's jump into the mods first of all. And you will see that I'm rocking on each of them a explosive arrows. The reason why I do that is because the only way you can boost damage further apart from the you know bowman, bloodied mess and uh, nerd rage and whatnot perks is by chucking on the explosive arrows and chucking on demolition expert because that actually increases the damage. As you will see here that the explosive arrows are out damaging the plasma arrows which otherwise is a the, the lower damage variant, uh, the explosive one from the two, if you don't have Demolition Expert on. As you can see right now, this is a 384 against uh, 372, but uh, let's see how it racks up without the Demolition Expert. And now you will see that the damage is actually out damaged by the Plasma Arrow, so this is still 372 just before, but the explosive arrows went down from 383 or 4 or whatever it was to 357. So yeah, this is why it is important if you spec into explosive to use the explosive arrows because it does increase the damage. And this is of course true for all three of the weapons. Now, uh, let's go back and chuck our damage back with Demolition Expert and let's compare the damages between them. So first of all we've got ourselves the bow which is at 353. Again, each of them are bloodied and the other perks do not increase the damage whatsoever. Uh, there is no explosive legendary effect on both, so you cannot get double explosive, so to speak. So this is 353, this is 384, which is, you know, not a huge amount of damage, but it's still a bit of damage that's definitely worth noting. As well as having the bloody tactical crossbow, which is again still explosive frame, with nothing else to boost its damage. And it's uh, rocking at a whopping 291 only. So, the just you know, based on road damage, the crossbow is the lowest, the bow is the second lowest, uh, this is the bow, and the compound bow is the best when it comes to the raw damage. Now, when it comes to fire rate, because of course that's the other main thing that counts into DPS, is the following. The bow, sorry, the crossbow fires this fast. As you can see, it's really not that fast. Now, the bow and compound bow fire the exact same rate. It is faster than, as you can see, the crossbow. And of course, I'm pulling back this string all the way through with the bows, just so that I get the maximum range and damage. And yes, this doesn't help the crossbow's situation whatsoever. And before you ask, yes, I did try the prime receivers on all of them, but I can already tell you with confidence that the prime receivers are not worth on the bows and crossbows because they are being outdamaged by the uh, plasma arrows already, as well as being outdamaged even more by the explosive arrows if you uh, spec them into with Demolition Expert. So, now that we've got the statistics out of the way, let's go and, uh, you know, do some mob hunting, shall we? Before we start slaughtering super mutants, I wanted to note one more thing, which is of course the range. If you go into the weapon uh, cards themselves, it will tell you that the range of this is 312, while for the uh, your crossbow, the range is only 186. Now this range is actually, of course, uh, something that affects damage, but you will see when it actually comes to practice that the bow, sorry, the crossbow them itself, if I'm gonna you know, shoot at that thing, I'm gonna try and shoot it from here. There we go. There is no real, actually, you know, uh, arc for the uh, crossbow themselves. 
But if we go to something like the compound bow, I'm going to be aiming that same height. You will see that the arrow goes much, much lower on the other one. And it actually, for this reason, the practical range of it is actually smaller than the crossbow despite the weapon card telling you differently. Of course, you can still kind of shoot far away, but you have to aim higher for that to happen, unlike for the crossbow, which has more velocity for its uh, projectile. Now, let's go into doing, doing some damage with these, shall we? I'm going to be trying and actually shooting at them from range first, just so you can see what that actual range set means on the weapon card. That was a 38 and 27. And now with the bow... Two hundred and thirty-nine. that was. So yeah, this is why the, the range is so much worse on the crossbow, because the damage, especially at this distance, is even worse than the per card or the, the weapon card sh sh would suggest. But if you move closer, this damage actually kind of gets closer, tied up, even though the crossbow will never get the same damage as the compound bow, sadly. Let's go closer up and let's see what the close-up damage do. This supermutant here is going to get one into the chest. 164. And with about the same range with the compound bow, 304. Alright, so time to measure the damage itself. First of all, this is the crossbow, 168 damage. The normal bow, which is not the compound bow, stop moving away from my range, is 236 damage. And last but not least, the compound bow, 311 damage. Now, I will have to tell you that this damage is actually inconsistent because sometimes it changes uh, with the explosive arrows. I don't know the reason for that, it's not range, even if I'm shooting at the same thing with the same range, it's gonna just take different damage for whatever reason. Uh, while the explosive damage itself, you know, at least on the damage numbers, are gonna be seemingly the same. So, don't ask me why that happens, but this is about the average damage difference that you can expect between those. So yeah, the compound bow does is is better sort of uh, noticeably than the normal bow and at the same time the bow is not really worth using sorry the crossbow not really worth using makes it just uh, absolutely outperformed by even the normal bow and yes it is harder to get a bloodied bow than a bloodied crossbow since you know the the bow is a newer weapon but at the same time it's it's uh, just not really worth using a crossbow anymore since you have the bows and the, the compound bows Another sort of shameful thing about the damage is that even, you know, ghouls that are supposed to be more flimsy enemies, if you are level 100 like me, you will see that uh, these level 75 and I think even 100 level variants roam around. And these guys cannot be one-shotted by a crossbow. As you can see, it's uh, just not enough. Of course, if you put on some, you know, uh, armor penetration perks with the... and maybe nerd rage perks, then it might have worked. But it's just uh, not possible currently with the, my crossbow build right now. Uh, that one over there, where is another 75? This one. This one uh, is still just kind of like a semi, like a 50-50 chance whether you can one-shot it or not. Um, as I said, the damage is a bit uh, varies when it comes to explosive bows. And let's find ourselves another level 75 variant and you will see why the compound bow is actually kind of the winner in this fight. Since it can actually one-shot even these ghouls. No, that's the level 75. And there you go, one-shotted. So yeah, this is the one that kind of edges over that little barrier that uh, is the one-shotting of such ghouls. Because, you know, let's be honest here, if you need to waste two shots uh, on a ghoul like this, then it's already not worth using. But with the compound bow, it's actually on that edge where it's it's somewhat useful that you can actually, you know, make use of it in certain situations. And the fact that it's so silent, basically more silent than any other weapons, uh, is kind of making up for... It's lack of damage, just you know, just can just uh, easily sneak around stuff. So yeah, that is the entirety of what you need to know about these bows, I guess. And yeah, hopefully you found this informative and helpful. And I see you in the next one, guys. Goodbye.